Today I was in Bloxburg and saw a guy advertising a hotel for trillionaires only. It looked really fancy so I went to check it out, but when I got there the owner kicked me off the plot because I looked like a poor ugly rat and that I didn't deserve to see what was inside. This made me really mad so now I have to get into this hotel no matter what. I cannot believe how rude that hotel owner is. I mean I am not an ugly rat and I'm gonna get inside that hotel and I know exactly how to do it, but it'll require some help. Okay guys, here is my big plan. I am disguised as a box right now and Pat is going to deliver me straight into the building and that's how I'm gonna see what's inside. Here we go. Oh, okay, it definitely looks a little strange, but you can't see me and that's all that matters. Okay, here we go, here we go. Hopefully Mr. Diamonds doesn't notice anything suspicious. Oh, he said, hi, how may I help you? Uh, Pat doesn't speak English. Oh, okay, he just barked. He's acting normal? Come on, Pat, play the part. You're the delivery man. Mr. Diamond said, oh, a package, great. I'll take that from you. Don't open the box, don't open the box. If he opens this box, my whole disguise is ruined. He said, what a heavy box. It is not that heavy. He said, I'll need to open this later. Oh, that's good, that's good. He said, I'll put it away first. Okay, perfect. Wait, where the heck is he taking me? Right off the bat though, this hotel looks crazy. No wonder it's for trillionaires only. Wait, where are we going? Oh, storage room. Okay. You know what? Maybe he called me a heavy box, but at least my disguise wasn't ruined. It looks like he put me in some sort of like storage room, which I'm not complaining about putting back on my regular clothes. And now the only way I'm going to be able to explore the rest of the hotel like I want to is if I have a different disguise. So I'm hoping in here I can find some type of like old employee uniform or something to help me blend in a little bit. Oh, hey, the heck's this? Whoa, okay. These are some fancy clothes that I just found in that box. Who just leaves all of these clothes laying around? I look like a princess. But this is kind of perfect. It's not employee uniform, but I look super, super rich now. So this is kind of the perfect disguise. Now I can totally explore the hotel. What the heck is this door over here? I mean, I thought this was just like a loading dock, but this giant door has a weird, creepy lock on it. That is super suspicious. That is definitely the first thing I'm going to check out. <gasps> Uh oh, uh oh, Mr. Diamonds. He said, um, excuse me, ma'am. Who are you and what are you doing here? Uh, I'm gonna have to lie myself out of this one. I, um, I'm, I'm a guest and I, I got lost in, in here. Um, looking for my room. Yep, yep, that's what happened. I just wandered in here. I mean, he fell for Pat being a delivery man. So hopefully he'll fall for this. He just said, oh, welcome. Yes. He said, I hope you enjoy your stay, but please remember the rules. Guests aren't allowed to snoop around. That's very suspicious. What a weird rule to have. Um, I'm, I'm gonna play along and be like, ha ha, uh, you got it, and my bee, my bee, don't, don't worry about a thing. Ha ha ha, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, you know what? I got myself out of there. I am now officially inside the main part of the hotel, and Mr. Diamonds was acting so weird in there. He didn't kick me out, so I'll take that as a win. This hotel might have more to it than I thought, so I'm gonna need to gather some more info. All right, guys, I've been checking out the hotel and it is legitimately made for trillionaires. I mean, everything is covered in diamonds. This place is kind of crazy, but now that I've kind of seen the layout of everything, I wanna talk to a couple other uh, guests that are staying here and see if they've noticed anything weird or suspicious about Mr. Diamonds as well. Because I don't know, something about how he was acting in the storage room was really strange. Oh, 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 there's some guests over there. And guys, they look so rich. Holy cow. Oh, it looks like Marissa Moneypot is coming over to me. Oh my gosh, she's literally got like a hula hoop of diamonds around her. What the heck? Oh, but we both have tiaras. Marissa said, ooh, looks like this hotel has another guest. It is so nice to meet you guys. She's being so friendly. I'm gonna take a guess and say it's because I also look like a trillionaire, uh, but I'm gonna play along and I'm gonna say, uh, hi, so nice to meet you too. How, how are you liking 
your stay here, you know? See what they think of the hotel. Oh, Mike Money Pod just came over here. I'm guessing that's her husband. But they also kind of look like siblings, so that's strange. But they're both covered in diamonds, so Marissa said, I just love it, especially since we don't have to deal with any gross poor people. Okay, so it is not just Mr. Diamonds that doesn't like poor people. That is so mean. What the heck? They are being very open with me right now, so this would be a perfect time to ask, so, uh, what do you think, uh, Mr. Diamonds? Oh, oh, speak of the devil, there he is. Oh my gosh, okay. Wait, who the heck is that? He said, hey y'all, super sorry for bothering, but I wanted to introduce you to our newest guest. Wait, that guy? Joe Schmo? He said, he's not rich, so be nice. Hi, Mike even said, hey? How is he at the hotel if he's not rich? I don't understand. They literally just said that they don't like poor people. Marissa said, you got it, we'll show him around. Come with us, Joe. We'll see you later, Carrie. Uh, okay, wait, that guy? He's allowed in the hotel. He looks like the most generic guy I've ever seen. I mean, literally, his name is Joe Schmo. How is he in the hotel for trillionaires? Something definitely weird is going on here. I have a super bad feeling about this. Why were they being so nice all of a sudden? I have no idea where everyone went, and I still have no idea why Mr. Diamonds let someone in the hotel who's not a trillionaire. I mean, I was kicked off the plot just for standing in the driveway. So I don't really know what's going on, but I have a very bad feeling about it. Oh, oh, oh. I guess that's like uh, one of the janitors of the employees here is cleaning man John. I think I might have an idea. Hopefully this works. Let's see how much information this guy knows. Ahem, excuse me, Mr. Employee Man. I saw a poor person in this hotel. I demand to know why they're here. I kind of feel like a super, super rich Karen right now. Oh. We're gonna see how he reacts. He just said, hello, I'm so sorry, ma'am. They won't be here for long. They'll soon get sent to the basement. Wait, what the heck? What is this guy talking about? What do you mean they're gonna get sent to the basement? Oh, Mr. Diamonds, go seriously? Why does he keep showing up everywhere? He said, Carrie, have you checked out your room yet? Um, was uh heading that way now, Super, super tired. I'm probably gonna take a nap or something. Seriously, every time I'm about to get some information, he shows up. Very suspicious. He said, fantastic, have a good nap. Yep, thanks, okay. Holy cow, holy cow, I've got to get out of there. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I knew something bad was happening at this hotel as soon as Mr. Diamond said that the guests weren't allowed to snoop around. And according to cleaning man John, whatever's going on here is happening in the basement. Okay, this room is actually super fancy, but I can't even enjoy it right now because I need to get access into that basement. And I have a feeling it was that really crazy locked up door that I saw in the storage room. But like I said, it has a big giant crazy lock on it. Uh oh, what the heck, what the heck? Oh, somebody's at my door and cleaning man John said, ma'am, I'm here to clean your room. Wait. What? Uh, I literally just got here. My room is spotless. I haven't even gotten the bed yet. Oh, he just whispered to me. He said, play along. Can't be seen out here talking. Wait, what the heck? Uh, okay, uh, come on in. Oh, he said, looks dirty to me. Yep, okay. Come inside. What the heck is going on right now? He said, I know who you are, and I know you're not a trillionaire. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I've been exposed. I thought I had such a good disguise. Whoa, what the heck? He said, I'm undercover and need your help to take down this hotel. They're doing bad things here, but all I know is that it's happening in the basement. Are you kidding me? If this place is doing something bad enough to have a secret agent here, and he looks like a pretty serious one, then this has got to be very bad. What the heck did I get myself into? He said, the key to the basement is in the manager's office, but I can't get it alone because he won't let cleaners in, but I can distract him for you to steal the key. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This sounds really dangerous, but if it's as bad as I'm feeling like it is, I can't not help. So sure, okay, that works for me. Holy cow, I am freaking out. 
I can see Mr. Diamonds and Marissa Moneypot talking right now. If I get caught snooping around Mr. Diamonds' office, I don't even want to know what he's going to do to me. Marissa just said, ha ha ha, you're so rich. Uh, is she hitting on Mr. Diamonds right now? What about Mike Moneypot? What? The drama. Oh my gosh. Mr. Diamond said, yes, I am. I'm the richest man in Blacksburg. Oh my gosh. What is going on right now? I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to get past them, but Mr. Diamond's office is literally right over there. Cleaning man John better have a good plan for a distraction. Oh, oh, there he is. He said, sir, there's an issue. The IRS is here looking for Marissa Money Pot. Marissa said, the IRS, I won't let them take my money. I don't think you're supposed to fight with the IRS. <laughs> what the heck? There's no way this is actually gonna work. Mr. Diamond said, come with me, Marissa. I'll hide you? Hiding from the IRS? What the? Oh my gosh, it, it actually worked. That definitely bought me some time. And now it is time to get in here and try and find that key. Luckily, he left his office open. Here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh. Are, is that a solid diamond chair? Are you kidding me right now? What the heck? Got to find this key. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I just have to look fast. Why are literally all of these empty? And it also doesn't look like he has ever touched a single book in here, which would honestly explain a lot why he's hiding from the IRS. There's nothing under the desk. I'm thinking maybe if I could see under the chair. Look at me. I'm so fancy sitting in a fancy chair. Oh, that is not, that's not the point right now, Carrie. Don't get distracted. Sis, wait a second, wait a second. There, there, I see a key hidden right behind these books. Thank you, I'll take the key. Okay, it is time to get into that basement. Oh, it is just time to make it to the storage room. I'm gonna check to make sure the coast is clear. I'm not seeing anyone, so that must mean that they are still in hiding from the IRS. Here is the storage room. I'm going in, I'm going in. Here we go, let's get this door open. Boom, okay. Okay, yep, and it is a dirty, scary, uh, disgusting basement with a creepy stairwell. Oh, man. Oh, I've seen these before. They're never good. I feel like I do this every day. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there is a salad. That's Joe Schmo. What happened to him? Oh, my gosh. He said, ah, get away from me. I already gave you all my money. Wait, what? Dude, chill out. I, I, I'm not, I'm not a bad guy. He said, but you look rich. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that's the point. I, I'm here to help. What happened? He said, this place is evil. I just wanted a vacation, but they trapped me down here and stole all of my money. Oh my gosh. When Marissa said she would show him around, she probably took him down here. Are, are they all working together? What is going on right now? He said, apparently they do it to a bunch of people just like me. No wonder. Mr. Diamond stays so rich and this place is so expensive. They just steal from regular people and that's how they get all their money. That is so much more messed up than I thought. Here, can you get me out of here? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, sorry, my bad, my bad. Don't worry, I'm I'm getting you out of here. Joe Schmo said, uh-oh. What, dude, the door's open. Just turn around. Around, oh no. Mr. Diamonds, he said not so fast. How the heck did he deal with the fake tax people so quickly? Mr. Diamond said, well, well, I did some research on you and found out you aren't a trillionaire. Uh, no, I, I am. Look at my tiara. Uh, only tri a trillionaire would have a tiara, right? He said, like, you're just a regular person. I, uh, well, yeah, so what, okay? You're a crazy person and I'm not saying anything about that until like right now. He said, anywho, since you've been caught, it looks like I'll be making even more money. Oh no. I have absolutely no idea how to get out of this situation. I was supposed to be helping Joe Schmo. Oh, this is not good. It looks like we're both gonna get trapped in there. He said, let's make this simple, Carrie. Okay, oh, geez Louise. He just said something that got so hashtagged out. I don't even wanna know. He said, give me your bank info. Wait. What? No, no way. He said, and you won't get hurt? He wants me to give him my bank information? Absolutely not. Joe said, that's what he made me do. Well, why would you do that? That is so bad. Uh, no way. I won't do it. I'm not dumb enough to do that. You're literally crazy and you can't possibly get away with this. I mean, seriously, trying to get people's bank information? He said, who's going to stop? That is a very fair question. I actually don't know. Joe said, protect me? What? What the heck am I supposed to do? I'm in a ball gown. Ah! Cleaning Man John! Holy cow, holy cow! Cleaning Man John said, I don't think so. And did he just knock him out with a baseball bat? What kind of secret agent is he? He said, 
said, sorry I'm late. Had to finish arresting those other rich guys for stealing money. Well, you know what? I'm not even mad. Good timing. He said, let's get you guys out of here. And Joe Schmo said, so do I get my money back? On, honestly, just be grateful that we're not locked in that cage right now. And that we also helped expose a crazy trillionaire hotel. I am so getting out of here. Today I was in Bloxburg when I was told to come to the police station because of a top secret mission. This lady's millionaire friend went missing in my server and they wanted me <laughs> to find her. This seemed pretty crazy, so I have to check it out. Guys, I cannot believe Officer Goody wants me to go on this mission, but before I accept, I need to know where exactly they went missing at because that could make this a much different situation. Where did you last see him? She said he got on a cruise ship for trillionaires only. That's all I know. What? Uh, huh? How did he do that if he's only a millionaire? That doesn't make any sense. Officer Goody said that's exactly why it's suspicious. You're the only one we know that can act annoying and rich enough to get on that ship. Rude, but you know what? Fine, fine, at least it's on a cruise ship. So I'll, I'll help this lady out. I'm just gonna say, um, I'll do my best and be annoying, I guess. Okay, you guys, this is the cruise ship and it looks crazy. I mean, it literally says SS Trill, which I'm assuming is short for trillionaire. And it is like all diamond and blue and gold. And this place is crazy. But I need to be really careful because apparently somebody went missing on this ship, no matter how fancy it is. Oh, oh, oh right over there, that must be the captain. I guess he's like greeting people coming onto the ship and hopefully he'll let me on or, or at least just give me some information about said missing millionaire. Captain Trillionaires, oh, he definitely looks rich. I'm just gonna say, uh, hi, my name is Harry, I don't know who's behind all the missing stuff, so I'm just gonna be really nice. He just said, you don't look like a trillionaire. This ship is for trillionaires only, so go away, poor girl. I, I, I barely had a chance to introduce myself. Are you kidding me? You know what? Fine, I won't be so nice anymore. I'm gonna say, well, I know that's not true because a millionaire was let on board. So what about that? Oh gosh, guys, he doesn't look happy. He said, that's not true. Uh, excuse me. Hey, go away, you poor trash. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, guys. He is really buff and he is like, okay, fine, fine, fine. I am leaving. Jeez. Okay. He was definitely lying about something and that is even more suspicious. So now I definitely just have to find a better way to get on the ship to see what else I can find out about this missing millionaire. All right, guys, my next game plan was to just dress up in a trillionaire disguise and then that should get me on this cruise ship. Okay, there is Captain Trillionaires over there and I think I look pretty rich right now. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going in, I'm going in. Hi, I am a trillionaire and I would like on this ship. Uh, thank you. He said, sure, I just need to see your ticket, ma'am. Oh, okay, okay, good news is that he doesn't recognize me. Bad news is that I don't have a ticket. I, I don't have one. And maybe he'll just say, never mind. He said, well, you can't get on the ship without a ticket. Okay, okay, you know what? I can do this. Um, oh, ha, ha, ha. I've, I've, um, never been on a cruise before. <laughs> My bad. He said, what? All trillionaires have been on cruises. Are you sure you're a trillionaire? Oh, geez. Uh, I'm gonna say, ha, of course. But I got rich really, really recently. Um, so this is my first time. Oh, he just said, ah. Well, there's a booth over there, but if you're not a trillionaire, you won't even be able to afford a ticket. Thank you. I don't know why he was so mean about it. There's literally a ticket booth, but I'm a little afraid about how much this is gonna cost. Hi, Um, I need one ticket, please. He just said, O-M-G. He said, do you know CPR? Because you just took my breath away? What? Are you serious? This guy is trying to hit on me right now? Oh gosh, okay, okay, okay. You know what? Please, one ticket, thanks. He said, anything for you, that'll be a trillion dollars? Huh? A trillion dollars for one ticket? Guys, I don't have that kind of money. But maybe I can work with the fact that this guy is clearly a sim. I know what to do. I know what to do here. Man, no, that's, that's too much money. Uh, I'm, I'm, 
I'm too rich to pay for that. He said, wait, don't cry here. It's on the house. Thank you, guys. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm getting on this ship. He said, hmm, I guess you really are a trillionaire. He said, you can go on in. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe that actually worked. Holy cow. Now that I am officially on board, I should definitely go ask some other people on ship if they know anything about this missing millionaire. Oh, 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 there's somebody in the cafe right now. She looks nice enough to approach and she's by herself. So I'm gonna go up and be pretty casual. I'm gonna say, hey, OMG, I love your outfit. She said, oh, thanks. It's custom made. She said, I can give you my designer's number if you want. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's really bougie. Um, so, uh, have you met any millionaires on this ship? She said, what? Of course not. Millionaires are losers. The captain would never let one on the ship. Okay. Okay. That was, that was a bit more intense than I ex expected it to be. Ha ha ha. Oh, I, I, I was just gossiping. Rich people love to gossip, right? I'm just I was just gossiping because I, I heard one was was let on on the ship. <laughs> We're trying to try to play it cool, you guys. Oh, geez, this might have been a mistake. She said the lady that told you that was lying. Obviously, she's just poor and jealous of our money. Wait, guys, I didn't say anything about a lady. She just said, now go away. I'm eating. Uh, okay, okay. Jeez, guys, she got so defensive. Are you kidding me? That was real suspicious. I will say that was definitely strange, but I still don't have any more leads. Guys, I have been looking all over the place and the ship is so huge that I haven't seen anything weird yet, but there has got to be something suspicious looking. I mean, there's literally a gazillion hallways and a gazillion do- Oh. That door is different from the other doors, you guys. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I knew I would find something suspicious. And it's locked. It's locked. It's got a giant lock right on the front, you guys. Oh, no. Captain Trillionaires. Said, Excuse me, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm just gonna play dumb and say, ha ha ha. Got lost on, on, on the ship. It's so big. He said, you should be getting ready for the party tonight. So get out of here. Uh, I didn't even know there was a party. I'm gonna say, oh, I, I, I totally forgot. So what's this? What's this big lock for? He said, I don't know how you got rich being this stupid. That's none of your business. I'll go to your room. Uh, fine, fine. I'll go to my room and get ready for this dumb party. If I want to get behind that door and try to find the missing millionaire, I guess I have to go to this party. All right, guys, I am ready for this party and I'm hoping that it is really busy so that I can sneak out without anyone noticing me. And oh, 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 I can see like a chat bubble up here. What the heck? Miss Dollar Bills and Captain Trillionaire. Oh, what are they talking about? She said, all right, I don't think anyone is around. Captain Trillionaire said, so any updates, Mrs. Dollar Bills? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there they are. Miss Dollar Bills said, I found another millionaire on this server. Captain Trillionaire said, that's great. The more millionaires we can find, the better. I, I thought they didn't like millionaires. What the heck is going on? I'll get them on this ship tonight. Oh, oh, I, oh, oh, she's, she's leaving. She's leaving. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Luckily she didn't see me. Oh my God. Oh, go oh, Captain Trillionaires again. He just said, Hey, what are you doing over here? I told you to go to the party. I'm just going to play dumb again and say, uh, I, I got distracted. He said, right. You're on my watch list. No. He said, if I see you acting suspicious one more time, I am kicking you off this ship. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. You guys, I am going to run just, holy cow. I guess I have to be going to this party. Guys, I am at the party and there's just a bunch of trillionaires here. I'm hoping that since they're all pretty occupied, I can just sneak out of this party without anyone noticing and catch up to Miss Dollar Bill. Mr. Chi Ching just said, hey, you over there, come join us. It's party time. I don't want to party with these people. Oh my gosh, I literally don't want to talk to them. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm, I'm gonna find the, the food. Parties have food. He said, where are you going? We were just about to make it rain. Oh my gosh, seriously, you just threw a bunch of money out? I guess I'm just gonna have to entertain these guys and then I can leave. Yeah, party time. Yeah, I love partying. Okay, I'm just gonna dance a little bit. Oh, seriously, Madeline has money. Just said, this boat is sick. No poor people. And Money Man Mitchie just said, woo. And then Mr. Cha-Ching said, yeah, poor people suck. <laughs> These guys are terrible. 
all. I do not want to be spending my time with them. I want to be solving the mystery of where these millionaires are going off to. Madeline said, too bad, so sad. They should have been born rich. Okay, guys, they are so messed up. I can't believe I have to entertain this. Oh, money man Mitch, he just said, hey, I need to talk to you. Come with me. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay, guys, uh, I'm, I'm going. He seems really serious. Have I been exposed? Oh, maybe I wasn't partying hard enough. Oh, geez, this might be bad. Hopefully he doesn't know that I'm not a trillionaire. He just whispered and said, I know you're not a trillionaire. No, 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 I have been exposed. He said, relax, I won't expose you. I'm just here to tell you I know the captain's up to no good. My gosh, guys, what do you know? Okay, guys, I finally have some sort of lead here. Okay. He said, look, all I know is the captain and Miss Dollar Bills are having a secret meeting tonight in the room with the locked door. I knew the locked door was something weird. Okay, I, I know. I know where that is. Uh, how do I get in? I have to figure out what they talk about in that meeting. He said the captain has to let you in. He's got a key to the secret meeting room, but he only lets in people he likes. And so far, he only let in Miss Dollar Bills because she's the meanest trillionaire of them all. How am I supposed to get him to like me? I'm already on his watch list and Miss Dollar Bills definitely doesn't like me. I might have an idea. I'm just gonna say thank you. I got this. I really hope this works. Okay, you guys, I am right outside of Captain Trillionaire's little steering room and I have a plan to hopefully befriend him very quickly so I can get into that meeting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go in. Excuse me, hi, to get his attention a little bit. Okay, he looks very focused right now. I'm gonna say, you're doing an amazing job steering this ship. Guys, I am just gonna try and compliment the heck out of this guy and hopefully he gets me off of his watch list. He said, oh, thanks. It's about time my work gets appreciated. It makes sense that this ship is for trillionaires only. Being around poor people sucks. Yeah, oh gosh, I feel like a terrible person. He said, that's right. I'd rather drown than let poor people on my ship. Holy cow, this guy really is a jerk. But I've got to keep playing along if I want to get on his good side. I'm gonna say, yeah, uh, the, the world would be a better place without Poor people in it. He said, I'm glad we see eye to eye. Okay, guys, it looks like he's warming up to me a little bit. Here's a $1,000 tip for your services. All right, you guys, I'm literally about to spend $1,000 on this guy, but if it gets me in that meeting and figures out what they're doing to these other millionaires, it will have been worth it. Oh. He just said, wow. Well, how about that? You're not like other trillionaires, are you? Definitely not. Especially in the sense that I'm not actually a trillionaire. I'm gonna say, uh, I like to spend my money on true friends. Oh geez, oh geez, come on, please. I have a feeling that this guy is actually just really lonely and sad. So he wants affirmation and friends. Oh. He said, I like you. How would you like to go to a top secret meeting with me and Miss Dollar Bills? Looks like you hate poor people just as much as we do. Oh my gosh, yes guys, I did it. Clearly flattery does get you somewhere. So I'm just gonna say I'd love to. Okay, yes guys, I got in the meeting. Perfect. Okay, you guys, it is time for the secret meeting. I am following Captain Trillionaires to the locked door. All right, here we go, here we go. I am about to see what is behind this door. Oh gosh, oh, oh my gosh, there, there he is, Kyle has cash, that is the missing millionaire. And and Marie Millions, it looks like Miss Stella Bills already captured another millionaire. Captain Trillionaire said, we have a special guest, Miss Dollar Bills, and she said, you let her into our secret meeting? Okay, clearly she uh, still doesn't like me from our little interaction in the cafe. He said, I'm sure you'll like her too, Miss Dollar Bills. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She said, she hates poor people just as much as we do. Guys, I cannot believe that they have them in a cage over here. Miss Dollar Bills said, all right, if you say so. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You know what guys, I am in the meeting right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask, um, so why are they in a cage? Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Oh. Captain said, this is how we stay rich. Huh? 
He said, we're gonna rob all the millionaires we can find and become the only rich people in the world? What? Guys, this plan is insane! They can't just capture every single millionaire? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay, um... I need to figure out how thought out this plan is, so I'm gonna say, um... So what, what happens if you get caught? You know, I mean, what happens once they rob the millionaires and then they, I don't know, go to the police or something? She said, we won't. Once we drain these losers' bank accounts, we'll get rid of them? Wait, where is she going? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, where is she going? What? No freaking way! There is a pirate plank into the ocean? Guys, this is crazy! They make them work a plank? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. Captain Trillionaire said, get them out of that cage, Miss Dollar Bills. We gotta get started, wait, right now? Oh my gosh, I, I have to do something, I'm gonna, wait, wait! Oh my gosh, um, I'm gonna see. You, you can't do this, uh, this is so messed up! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I wanna say, no, no matter how rich or poor they are, this is wrong! Oh my gosh, I cannot believe they built an entire pirate plank! Captain Trillionaire said, excuse me? Why are you defending poor people? You're supposed to hate them! All right, you guys. You guys, it, it, this is it, this is it! I have to just expose myself! Okay, I'm gonna say I am not a trillionaire! I, I'm here to expose you! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay, you know what? I'm doing this, hopefully they will just be scared enough! Miss Dollar Bill said, you're what? Captain said, ew! You're a poor person? That means you're gonna walk the plank too! Wait, huh? No, no, I can't walk the plank! Oh my gosh, oh, this was a bad idea. Oh, ah, they got, they have weapons! They have weapons! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Oh, I didn't think this through, guys! It is a 2v1 right now! Guys, this is crazy! I do not know how I'm gonna get out of this one! I don't have any weapons, and it doesn't look like the millionaires have anything either! He said, there's nothing you can do now. Get ready to be shark bait. Miss Dollar Bill said, it's time to walk the plank. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm really afraid of heights and open ocean. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is bad. This is really bad. Come on, what can I do? What can I do to get us out of this? There's no way I can make that jump and survive. So, I can't think of anything. I don't have any plans. Guys, I don't know what to do. I don't have any plans. And I don't want to walk the plank. Oh man, oh man, oh. Oh, Officer Goody, what the, where did you come from? Kevin said, what the? Guys, I, I am just as confused as he is. I didn't call the cops. This was not in my plan. I really thought I was about to walk off this plank. Huh, money man, but she said, Carrie, I figured you might need some help. So I pay for the cops to get to board the ship. Wait, huh, guys, this guy must be a super trillionaire if he bought a second ticket. Holy cow. Officer Goody said, good work, Carrie, you saved the day. Uh, well, I was about to fall off of this plank, so I don't think I did, but I'm gonna take the credit anyway. He said, now these two are going to jail. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I actually found the missing millionaires and got the evil trillionaires captured? Okay. I am just glad that everyone is finally safe and honestly, I never wanna get on a cruise ship ever again. Today I was in Bloxburg and saw a school for rich kids only. But when I went to check it out, a teacher appeared and kicked me out for being too poor. You guys know places like this always have a secret, so I'm going undercover to find out what it is. I cannot believe Miss Goldie Bars just kicked me off of her plot. Oh gosh, she's coming over here. She said, can you not read? Go away before I make you leave, poor girl. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Guys, I need to get out of here, but I'm gonna get into that school no matter what. Okay, you guys, I am back at the rich kid's school and I figured the best way to investigate was by going undercover myself as a super, super rich kid. So now they have to let me in because I look loaded. Even my headband has stacks of money on it. Oh, oh, oh there is Mrs. Goldie Bars. Hopefully she doesn't remember my name. She said, hello there, are you a new student? Uh, I'm just gonna say, I, yes I am. She still looks kind of grumpy though. She said, you look very rich, so you love this school. Okay, I mean, I guess I kind of expected something like that. She said, especially since there's no poor people here. Okay, wow, Um, I knew that she didn't like poor people, but to say it to a student, that is kind of messed up. Oh, 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 there's the, there's the bell. Okay, she said, it's time for class. All right, you guys. Definitely something going on at this rich kids only school and I'm gonna 
gonna find out what it is. It looks like I found my first class, you guys. It is time to see what rich kid class is really like. And right off the bat, I mean, this place is super fancy. Our chairs are like literally golden. Miss Goldie Bar said, Carrie, you made it. Have a seat. We're about to start class. Okay, okay, okay. Going over to my seat. There's not too many kids in here, but I'm assuming there's not too many kids that can afford to go here. I don't really know. She said, I have a big announcement. Okay, uh-oh. Class, as everyone knows, our school is only for the rich and being poor isn't allowed. All oh, right, clearly that is what they're teaching in the classes too. So it's definitely as messed up as I thought. Tommy, your parents got fired from work and your family is broke now. So you're expelled? Tommy said, wait, huh? Oh my gosh, wait, is that the announcement? They she just said all of that in front of the entire class? Oh my gosh, Miss Goldie Bars is ca calling for security. <gasps> he said, you're coming with me, broke boy? Are you kidding me? Tommy said, no, I love this school. Wait, where are they? Are they like kicking him out? What the heck? Miss Goldie Bars said, okay, now then, time for class? I was wrong. This school is way more messed up than I thought. All right, it's lunchtime now and I'm gonna try to get in with a couple of these other students and see if I can get some information out of them because that class was insane. Oh, okay, okay, here is Samantha and Aria and do they have an entire salmon platter in front of them? What kind of school lunch is this? Okay, I'm gonna greet myself. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna greet myself. I'm gonna greet them. I'm gonna say, uh, hi guys, can I sit here? Okay, this is always nerve wracking asking to sit at a different lunch table. Samantha said, oh, hey. Aria said, hey, of course. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go around here. I'm just gonna sit down, act casual. Aria looks a little evil, I'm not gonna lie. She's got like flames in her eyes or something. She said, you're the new kid. Wasn't it cool when that poor loser got dragged out of class? This girl is clearly very mean. She is laughing about what happened to Tommy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I definitely need to play along though before they get suspicious. So I'm gonna say, um, uh, yeah, uh, such a, I don't know, such a loser? I feel feel bad insulting that kid. I mean, it wasn't his fault. Arya said, seriously, he was. Okay, she is really doubling down on that. And wait, Samantha just whispered to me, said, hey, um, I don't think Tommy got expelled. Wait, why is she whispering to me right now? Arya is just talking openly in the chat. She said, listen, I don't hate poor kids like everyone else here does. And you don't look like you do either. Uh, I don't. Why don't you think Tommy got kicked out? She said, the teachers here seem super sus. I think they're keeping him somewhere. Wait, um, I'm just gonna say, got it, thing. You gotta go to the bathroom? I don't know. Good enough. Hopefully Arya doesn't make fun of me for that, but I have got to go do some more investigating. I actually have no idea how I'm supposed to find out more information. I mean, everything in this school looks super spotless, super pristine. Honestly, I can't think of another way without just breaking into the teacher's office, but that seems a little dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna check that. The oh, oh, there's Miss Goldie Bars and the security guard that took Tommy away. <gasps> Hold on, they're talking. He said, the trash has been placed in the trash can. Miss Goldie Bars said, good work. You'll get paid later after I go check on it. Why does Miss Goldie Bars need to check on the trash? That doesn't make any sense. And he's, oh, 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 there he's running. He's running. Ooh, that was close. I almost got caught right there. They definitely have enough money at this school to hire a janitor and a security guard. So I don't know why the security guard's talking about this the trash either, unless they're speaking in a code. What if Tommy is the trash? <gasps> then that means Miss Goldie Bar said, you'll get paid later after I go check on it. So, oh, she's on the move. She is on the move. Where is she going? She's out of sight. Okay, I'm gonna try and sneak around to this door and see where she went. Oh, oh, it looks like she went into the library. Guys, this is gonna be my best chance at finding Tommy. There she is, there she is. I need to get into the library. I'm gonna go through these doors since she's got her back turned. There she is, there she is. What is she doing? I mean, it's literally lunchtime right now. Shouldn't she be on her break or something like that? There has got to be something going on in the library. There is no other reason for her to be in here right now. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, she just opened up a bookshelf. <gasps> O-M-G. One of the bookshelves is a secret door. Holy cow, what is she doing down there? That has got to be where Tommy is. Wait, I think I see her username. She's coming back, she's coming back. Wait, is she leaving? Oh my gosh, she is, she left. Okay, I guess that was her checking on something, which is a little suspicious, don't you think? Okay, okay, this is my chance. I've still got a little bit of time left. I have got to go see what's behind this secret door. 
Oh, geez. Hopefully she left it unlocked. She did. She did. She left it unlocked. I bet she thought because it's a secret door, no one would find it in the first place. Joke's on her. Oh, geez. Oh, that is a big staircase leading to a scary basement. Oh, geez. Okay, okay. I have a very bad feeling about this. I have got to see what's down here, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm really scared. Oh, my gosh. There's another door. Okay, okay, okay. I can do this. I'm brave. I came here for a reason. I came here to find out the problem. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going in. Oh my gosh. There's Tommy. And who the heck is Jason Jellybeans? What? There's multiple kids down here? Are you kidding me? Tommy said, hey, you're the girl from my class. What are you doing down here? And Jason Jellybeans said, who are you? I should be asking the same question. But, but that's not the point. I'm here to help. What? I, how the heck did you get trapped? I really honestly thought they just kicked you out of the school. Tommy said, well, we're poor, so the staff of the school forced us to take care of the school at night? He said, that's why it looks so perfect. My gosh, that makes so much sense. No wonder I didn't see a single worker in the kitchen. I cannot believe this. I knew Miss Goldie Bars was mean, but she's using poor kids for free labor? Tommy said, hey, uh, are you gonna leave us trapped here? Hello? Oh, oh. Oh, just give me a second, okay? So the first thing I would need to do is find a key because they are locked in here really tight. Then once I get them out, I'm gonna need some type of distraction in order to sneak them out of this ginormous school. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Tommy just said, well, okay, clearly patience is not a virtue here. He said it's been longer than a second. Look, um, I think have a plan. But if this is gonna work, I need to work quickly. So just hang tight right there. Oh jeez, there's everyone. Everyone is standing literally right there. All right, here we go. Let's hope this works. Fire! 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 Everyone run! Get out! There's a fire! There's a fire in the building! Go! 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 Come on, come on, come on. Let me see. Hopefully they're running into the courtyard. Go! 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 It's uh, burning the, the whole building down! Ah! Someone call the fire department! My gosh, Arya is freaking out there. Oh! in front of the school. Okay, now it is my chance. I don't think any of them saw me not run out of the school. So now I just have to go find the key to the cell. I'm checking with my first instinct and that is going to be in Miss Goldie Barr's office, but I have to be really careful right here because everyone is still in the courtyard. The door to the school is literally wide open. Miss Goldie Barr said, everyone stay calm. Help is on the way. Okay, they have already called for help for the quote unquote fire so i don't have a whole lot of time all right all right her office is unlocked now let's just hope miss goldie bars didn't stop and grab the key before she ran out of the building otherwise her priorities are seriously messed up all right let's see let's see anything up here nothing come on come on show me a key literally i, I kind of feel bad samantha is totally freaking out she said i'm so scared i hope the school doesn't burn down she was actually the only one who was kind of nice and normal. You know what? It's for the greater good, okay? I've got to get those kids out of the basement. Key? Key? Anywhere? No? Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hey! Oh, a key! A key! I found it! I found it! I found it! Yes, there we go. There we go. Thank you. I will grab that. All right. All right. I've got the key. I've got the key. Now it is time to go get those poor kids out of the scary basement. Don't you worry, guys. I'm coming for you. I see their usernames are clearly still there. Yes, okay, okay. Tommy said, OMG, you're back. What's happening up there? Uh, long story, but I gotta get y'all out. Uh, Tommy said, you took long enough. I, I'm doing my best, jeez. Okay, here we go, here we go. Now listen, I need y'all to listen to me. You have to be quiet and very fast. All right, Tommy said, all right. And Jason said, okay, okay. Uh, Jason still looks a little hysterical right now. So hopefully he can handle this. Come on guys, we have got to get out of here. But you know, so far, so good. My plan's actually kind of working and I haven't had any hiccups. All right, here we go, here we go. Now on my word, book it out the door, okay? Three, two, one, run! Oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Back up! Back up! Don't run! Don't run! Oh, Miss Goldie Bars is here. She said, "What do you think you're doing?" And guys, why does she have a giant gun? Tommy said, "What do we do now, dummy?" You know, I'm, I'm not even dealing with that right now. Miss Goldie Bar said, "I had a feeling there wasn't really a fire, but I didn't expect to find a rat in my school." Just everyone, calm down, okay? Oh, jeez. You know what? You're crazy, and I'm 
exposing you for trapping these kids. Dresden said, yeah, okay, this is not the time to have my back now. She said, shut up. They should be grateful to even be allowed in the building. Are you serious right now? What the heck? She said the least they can do is work for us. All right, this lady clearly does not feel sorry at all. And Jason said, all right, Carrie, what do we do? Okay, Jason is now panicking even more. She said she has a gun. I know I have got to get these kids out of here, but she has a giant weapon and that is the only exit to the entire school. Looks like we're gonna have another worker once we catch the three of you. I don't even think there's a single open window. What are we gonna do? Uh, maybe if we just like all split up and try and run around her, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to risk it with the giant weapon. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Officer Goody, he said I'm here to stop a fire! Wait! Miss Goldie Bar said, um... Officer Goody said, you are a teacher. Why do you have a weapon? <gasps> she said, this isn't what it looks like. Oh, yes it is! She's trying to attack us! SOS! Officer Goody said, you're under arrest, lady! Miss Goldie Bar said, wait, no! Oh my gosh! Oh, Miss Goldie Bar! Holy cow, holy cow! Officer Goody's chasing after her! Come on, guys, run! We've got to get the heck out of here! Oh my gosh, I cannot believe Officer Goody showed up at the perfect time! And even though it was kind of a close one, I'm gonna consider that a success! Today I was in Bloxburg and saw a guy getting thrown out of a gym. Apparently this gym was for celebrities only, and this guy wasn't famous enough anymore, so they were kicking him out. He seemed really angry and even threatened the trainer before running off. Now, since I'm a YouTuber, I thought I could get inside. But when I tried to walk in, the trainer didn't believe me and said I looked like a loser. I cannot believe how mean that stupid gym owner was. What does he mean that he doesn't think I'm a YouTuber? Just because I'm not flashing money around? Newsflash, not every YouTuber can afford a Lamborghini. And you know what? I want to know what's so special about this gym, especially since that other famous dude was so mad about getting kicked out. So I guess I'm just gonna have to look famous enough to get inside. All right, you guys, I am back out in front of the gym with a total makeover, okay? I put on the fanciest clothes I could find that I feel like probably only fancy super famous people would wear. I've got the Gucci pants. I've got designer headphones. Headphones? I've got designer sunglasses. And I also got full face of makeup on because I don't feel like people wear full faces of makeup to the gym sometimes. I got my phone in my hand because you always gotta be posting on social medias when you're famous. So hopefully this works. Okay, you know what? He's not standing outside at least, so at least I can get into the lobby. Here we go. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hello, I am super famous. He said, you again. I told you this place is for celebrities only. Well, I have over one million subscribers. So what about that? He said, hmm, that is enough to enter, but you're gonna need to prove it. What? How the heck am I supposed to prove it? He said, step on the famous machine and I'll check how famous you are. Is that what, that's what this little thing is right here? Seriously, if this is all I had to do, I could have just done this in the first place and not had to change my whole outfit. What's, what's supposed to be happening here? Is there like a light or a flashing thing? I don't understand how this works. He said, liar, you aren't famous. Get out of here. What? Seriously, what, what kind of machine? There must have been a mouth or something. Oh, he said shoe? Jeez. Okay, okay, you guys. This guy is totally ridiculous. Something's wrong with the machine. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get inside this gym, but I really want to see it. Huh? What the? Wait, Jamie Loves YouTube just said, OMG, Carrie, hi, I love your videos. Oh, she's got my hoodie on. I'm just gonna say hi. She said, I'm your biggest fan. Oh my gosh, wait, that's so sweet. Thank you. Jimbo Marcus said, excuse me, kid, do you know this lady? <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys, that is the perfect way to get into this gym and prove that people do watch my videos sometimes. Jamie said, um, duh, she's Carrie. <laughs> Hi. She said she's my favorite Roblox YouTuber. Oh my gosh, wait, she's being so nice. This girl is so cute. She said everyone that watches her videos needs to sub. Oh my gosh, period, on that. She's being so nice to me. Marcus said, so you weren't lying after all. You can join our gym, Carrie. Oh, really? Okay, okay, you know what? I mean, it was kind of a pain, but at least I get to go inside the gym now. Wait, Marcus said, I'll even be your personal trainer? I'm just gonna say, okay, cool. And honestly, guys, because of all the security to get in here, I'm not even more suspicious about this place. I feel like 
they might be hiding something. Okay guys, I just left after talking to Jamie for a little while and now that I am inside the gym, this place is actually really fancy. I mean, I can understand why celebrities go here because it looks really nice. For now, go meet some of the other celebrities in the cafe. I'm gonna set up for our first training session and I'll let you know when it's ready. I'm just gonna say, got it. Okay, honestly, maybe this place is just really exclusive because like they've got all personal trainers and it's really fancy. They've got a whole cafe and everything. Oh, oh, I see someone else. And since they're in here, that means they must be a celebrity. Oh my gosh, superstar Emma, you guys. Literally, she is so famous. I cannot believe believe this. Oh, she's got her whole little gym bag. Her outfit's so cute. She said, hey girl, are you new to the gym? Oh, I'm just gonna say yes I am. Wait guys, I'm, this is kind of fun. She said, don't you just love this gym? I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, I just got here, but it's so cool. She said, I've gotten in such good shape. I'm gonna say that's great. I mean, clearly other celebrities are happy here. I wonder what that guy must have did to get kicked out though. She said, and the best part is we don't have to deal with dumb regular people. She said, I don't even know why those twerps go to the gym. Okay, I mean, people go to the gym to be healthy. She said they're all ugly anyways. Ah, uh, that was really rude. I didn't know that Emma hated regular people so much. Uh, oh, Marcus is back. He said, Carrie, you ready to work out? I'm, I'm just gonna say sure. I, I don't even know how to end that conversation right now, but I guess we'll see, you know, if at least like the workout's really good. Okay, um, it's looking like this is the main workout area and uh, it's kind of intense over here. But since this place is for celebrities only, I'm hoping that the workout's pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure what all it entails. I'm kind of nervous. He said, all right, let's get our sweat on. Okay, all right, you know what? I can do this. I can put some reps in. Oh, gym trainer Jax said, excuse me, boss. We need your help with the special training. Uh, what's the special training? Is, isn't that what personal training is? I he said, sorry, Carrie, the special training is for our celebs that really need some help getting in shape. I gotta help with that, so I can't work out until tomorrow. Whoops. I, what the? Our workout session was literally about to start. I don't know how to use any of this by myself. So much for a personal trainer. Okay, guys, I just got home from the gym, and what a waste of a cute little workout outfit. I am gonna go back tomorrow, though, just because I'm really curious about this special training they were talking about. I don't know, something about this gym seems kind of off to me. Who, who, who the heck is that? Wait a second, I feel like I've seen this guy before, famous guy Ben. He said, hey you, did you just start going to the celebrity gym? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the guy that got kicked out. How does he know where I live? Uh, I'm just gonna say, uh, yeah, I did. What's up? He said, have you seen what they're up to? What? I I mean, it, it seems pretty normal. I mean, besides the occasional snotty celebrity. He said that Jim is up to no good. When I started asking questions about the special training, they kicked me out and ruined my career? Be careful. Hey, hey you can't just run off after saying something like that. Or, that's why they kicked him out? And to ruin his career, I mean, that's pretty harsh. Okay, you guys, that was really strange. Oddly enough, I kind of feel like I can trust that guy. I don't know, whatever it is, I feel like it has to do with the special training. Okay, guys, it is the next day and I'm back at the gym. This time, I am going to try and ask about the special training for my personal session and hopefully I can get some information without Marcus being too suspicious of me and trying to kick me out. So there he is, there he is. Okay, I'm running over. He said, Carrie, sorry about yesterday. I am so ready to train you today though. Hey, no worries. I'm actually a super beginner. So I was uh, wondering about the special training. He said, oh really? I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, I, I need so much help. He said, well, the special training is very expensive. Can you afford it? Uh, yes, I'll pay any amount for results. Okay, and hopefully it's not too expensive because I don't know, that might backfire on me, but we're going with it. He said, perfect, follow me. You're gonna love this. Oh, okay, I guess it's not up here. Uh, oh, oh, we're going in the elevator. Are we, 
Are we going to a basement or something, guys? I have a really bad feeling about this. This might have been a mistake. Marcus said we need to go up to the third floor for training. Okay, I didn't know there was a third floor, but guys, at least it's not a basement. It just looks like a regular gym. What the? What is going on in there? Is that like a prison cell door? Who is that? Chris loves cookies. It is just running on a treadmill? But guys, I'm pretty sure he's locked in there. Why does it look like he's being forced to run right now? Okay, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. This is our special training. This is the motivation room where you can watch fat people run to feel better about yourself. Excuse me? That is awful. And also, like, get with the times. That is such a mean thing to say. If that's where you get your motivation from, you should probably uh, check yourself. He said, and it gets better. That's only for motivating you. Next, I'll show you how to get quick results. Okay, guys, I don't know where he is leading me right now, but if it gets worse than this, I don't know what I got myself into. Oh, Jesus, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? The heck is this? What, some kind of science lab? Hold on, and there's movie guy Jeffrey and Kyle Buff Boy in there. Wait, he said, this is our body transformation machine. This is how we help celebrities get the body they want? Watch this. Oh my gosh, wait, how, how the heck did that happen? Movie guy Jeffrey just said, sick, I'm buff now. Wait, he didn't even do anything. Uh, how does this even work? I am so confused. He said, we trap regular people with nice bodies and give them to celebrities. This is how you can get buff without needing to be in the gym 24 seven? Uh, that is so messed up. Marcus said, ready for your turn. Wait, my turn? No, guys, guys, I cannot do this. I, I, I gotta, I gotta pee real bad, real bad. Sorry, sorry, I, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I've gotta find a way to stop this and I am definitely gonna need some help. Okay, okay, you guys, I made it back to the main area of the gym and I called for some backup, but until they arrive, I'm going to need to find a way to stall Marcus. I mean, I can't be in the bathroom forever. So hopefully I can figure something out. Oh, oh, speak of the devil. Oh my gosh. He said, Carrie, why'd you run all the way over here? We have a bathroom in the special training section too. Didn't know, my, my bad, didn't know about that other bathroom. He said, that's okay. I'm ready to get you in shape though. So let's get to work. Guys, I do not want to get in shape like this. This is so wrong. Going to the gym is about taking care of yourself, not trying to swap bodies with people. Oh, yes, the backup. He said, hey, stupid gym bro, guess who's back? Uh-oh, Marcus is mad. He said, you again, you're banned from this gym, loser. Oh, oh, Ben's running. He said, oh really? You're gonna stop me from working out? Catch me if you can. Holy cow, wait, wait, this is my chance. This is my chance. Now I've got to go save all of those people that are trapped and get the heck out of here. Go down to the basement. Come on, come on, come on. Hopefully that other trainer is not down there. Honestly, guys, I didn't even think about that. Here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh, okay. Chris and Kyle are both in here. Ooh. Kyle still looks super weak after going through that whole experiment. So I probably am gonna have to carry him out, but Chris actually seems okay, even after being forced to run that whole time. So he might be able to follow me out. Chris said, who are you? Um, don't worry, I am here to help get y'all out. Just follow me and everything is going to be fine. Let me just pick him up. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, I'm, I might be stronger than I thought. And Chris said, uh, that might be a problem. Uh, why? Oh no, oh no. Uh-oh, Marcus is here. He said, stop right there. What are you doing? Okay, you know what? Uh, this is so wrong and I'm getting this place shut down, okay? Marcus said, shut down? Yes, you can't do this to people. He said, who cares? They're regular people and you're famous? He said, they don't matter. Don't you want to get in shape? Well, um, not like this. And just because somebody's body looks different than yours doesn't mean it's wrong. Everybody is a beautiful body. Have you ever heard that? And even if I did want to go to the gym, I definitely don't want to do it at this place. He said, well, you should have thought about that before you signed up for special training. Now I can't let you leave. You are not going to ruin my business. Oh, well, well, I just don't know how to get across the floor to the elevator. Um, wait, Chris just messaged me. He said, hey, I think I have an idea. He said, when you get the signal, hit that big button. You know what, you guys? I don't have any other options, so I'm just gonna say, okay. He said, time for my revenge. Oh, what the? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. He just picked him up and is running into the machine. Wait, oh, is that the cue? Is that the cue? Okay, I'm pushing the button. Holy cow, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Chris and Marcus just swapped their bodies. Marcus said, no, my gains. Chris said, ha ha, I finally got my body back. 
He said, Marcus swapped our bodies right when I got here. That must have been how he got trapped. Oh my gosh, okay. But now that their bodies are swapped, he can't catch us anymore. Come on, come on, come on. Marcus said, you'll regret this. Chris just said, nah. Come on, come on, in the elevator, in the elevator. Here we go, here we go. We are going all the way up. And actually, I don't think we're gonna regret this because I am going to get this place totally shut down and every celebrity and trainer that was involved is definitely getting arrested. Now let's get the heck out of here. Darling, we're poor. We can't even pay our bills. What do you mean? We need to make money fast. And I know exactly how to do it. All right, guys, I am just now getting back from getting my parents groceries since they haven't had time to go and oh, what the? Uh, Wesley Richie 09 just said, perfect. Carrie is finally home, but uh, who the heck is Wesley Richie 09? Uh, my mom just said, we're poor and you're gonna save us by marrying this rich man? Wait, huh? Wesley Richie 09 just said, I'm gonna be your new husband. You're way better looking than my other wife. Wait, other wife? We're already married? What the heck is happening right now? He said, oops, my ex-wife. She dumped me, so I hate her? But you'll never leave me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mom, this, this isn't gonna work. I mean, there has to be another way to make money, right? I don't have to marry this guy. No, there isn't. Now it's time to get you a wedding dress? Already? You've gotta be kidding me. I have gotta get myself out of this. You guys, my mom took me to Wesley's like crazy mansion and his maid already had a wedding dress ready for me. You've got to be kidding me right now. His maid Stephanie just said, Wesley is going to be amazed when you walk down the aisle. I don't know. Maybe I can get some information out of her. She looks a little nervous. Uh, I gotta play it off casual though. So I'm just gonna say, haha. So um, what do you think about Wesley? She just said, why do you ask? Um, you know what? Maybe I'll just try being blunt. I'm just gonna say, well, uh, this is my mom's idea. And I don't know, he seems a little, uh, off. She said, off? What do you mean off? He's not hiding anything. <gasps> I didn't say he was hiding anything. So that must mean he is. What is he hiding? What's going on? You better tell me right now. She said, if you keep snooping, you'll end up just like her. Uh, his ex? Oh no, oh no, got hashtagged. Um, uh, his, his other, other wife? She said, forget what I said. Just go and enjoy your wedding day. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, my suspicions are definitely confirmed. And the only way to stop this wedding is to figure out what the heck Wesley Ritchie is hiding. The wedding is literally about to start right now. They're trying to force me down the aisle. This is happening so fast. My mom just said, hurry up, Carrie. It's time to get married. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, I have to be. I have to be. I have to be. I have to be. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, at least I bought myself some time. And now I just have to get back to his house so I can investigate what's going on here for myself. Okay, guys, I am back at Wesley's mansion and I am determined to figure out what the heck he is hiding. Hopefully my bathroom stunt bought me enough time. Hold on a second. I think this there's a sign by the pool house that says no entry. I don't know about that, you guys, but I think that's a red flag to me. Wait a minute. There's a weird square on the floor. <gasps> yes! I found it. Yes, yes. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, it's uh, watery. That's gross. I'm sneaking. Come on. Yes. Yes, it's unlocked. Here we go. Whatever he's hiding has got to be behind this door. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> there is a girl in a cage in here. You've got to be freaking kidding me. She said, I'm his ex wife. He trapped me here when I tried to divorce him. That must have been what the maid was talking about if I kept snooping. He must be planning on holding me hostage too. She just said, you have to get me out of here. Okay. Locked How? There's there's nothing over here. She said there's a key, but he must have hidden it somewhere in the house. Okay, uh, don't you worry. I will find it. ASAP! Just hang tight. Like you have a choice. Come on, I'm not seeing anything down there that mostly just looks like plain decoration. I'm gonna check upstairs, maybe in his bedroom. There will ah! It is Wesley's butler. Carrie, why aren't you at the wedding? Um, he said, should I call Sir Richie? Oh, or, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, that won't be necessary. Um, I'm here because he forgot the 
forgot the rings! Forgot the wedding rings! And oh, really? He never forgets things he likes. Oh, gosh, you guys. The butler's acting kind of suspicious. I wonder if he's in on the kidnapping. Uh, but I gotta double down on this. Uh, ha, ha um, he's... Probably just, uh, nervous, you know, wedding jitters. He said, that's true. Any man would be nervous marrying such a pretty girl. He said, have a good wedding. Uh, th thank you. Okay, you guys, he left. I guess there is no checking upstairs right now. Oh, but he has an office over here. He has an office. Okay, okay, okay. This is perfect. I'm not looking like these cabinets open. And so I'm just gonna check these shelves. Come on. There has got to be, oh, the key, the key. I found it, I found it, I found it. Thank you. All right, time to go get Mandy out of there. Don't worry, Mandy. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I got it. She said, yes, now let me out. Okay, here you go, here you go. Bada bing, bada boo. <laughs> I did it. Now the only problem is that I definitely can't marry Wesley if this is what he's doing to his ex-wives. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but if I'm gone for too long, he's definitely gonna start looking for me. And it's already been kind of a while for a bathroom break. Wait, Mandy just said, go back to the chapel. Huh? Wait, she said, stall the wedding. I have a plan. What? Okay, I mean, I guess I trust her, but I don't know how long I can stall this wedding for. I am back at the chapel, you guys. It looks like everyone is still in there. My plan is to try and fake being sick. But I'm gonna have to really convince everyone if I want this to work. And oh, oh, there's my mom, there's my mom. Carrie, it's time to walk down the aisle. Okay, hopefully this works. Here we go. Oh, my mom literally didn't even notice. She is a moving. Let me, all right, let me really play it up here. <coughs> Wesley said, my love, are you feeling all right? Okay, here we go. No, I feel awful um oh, okay make it bigger make it bigger uh the room is spinning um i feel <laughs> like i'm gonna pass out here we go here's for the big one come on did it work did it work did it work oh oh he just said he passed out this wedding is a disaster yes yes come on come on come on he said someone call an ambulance yes it worked Okay, I should be good at the hospital for a while, and that should give Mandy plenty of time to finish out whatever plan she's hopefully got in the works. Oh no, oh no, Wesley's here. He said, Carrie, you're finally awake. Um, oh, oh gosh, I cannot believe he's actually here. Honestly, I thought he'd just be annoyed and leave, but I still need to go along with it. And uh, I'm gonna say, uh, ha -ha, sorry for getting sick. Sick. He said, don't be sad, my love. We can still get married right here. Wait, what? Uh, no, no, we can't. Uh, it, it's a hospital. We can't get married in a hospital. Oh, no, guys, I didn't see this coming. He said, sure we can. I kicked out all the other people, so it's just us and Pastor Stan. Okay. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, you know what? Um, well, why don't we just um think about this? Okay, we don't have to do it right here in the hospital. What's the rush? Wesley said, no, no more waiting. We are getting married right now. Oh gosh, okay, okay, you know what? I don't have another choice. This was like my plan Z. Everyone stand back, okay? Get back now. I'm not marrying anybody. Wesley said, huh? Are you breaking up with me? But we're in love. I, I do not. Love you, okay? You're crazy, okay? So just don't even get near me. I have a green syringe and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, he said, I'm not crazy. Holy cow. Um, no, you, you definitely are. You are definitely crazy. Uh-oh, he said, fine. If you won't be my wife, then I'll have to trap you forever. Oh, guys, he's not afraid of the syringe. He's gonna trap me like Mandy. I gotta get out of here. Guys, I don't know where he got. Okay, the only way I'm gonna do this is if I catch him by surprise. Oh, he's just running around. Oh, he's swinging the axe. Okay, okay, I'm climbing, climbing. Come on, come on. Let me get on the roof. Come on, yes, let me up here, please. Okay, I'm going this way, I'm going this way. Let's see if I can find a better way up there. 
Okay, okay, I'm gonna hide in here for just a second. Let's see. What do I have? Oh, come on. None of these are gonna work. <gasps> all right, all right, you guys. This just might get him. Only if he doesn't see me. Oh, no. He said, where'd you go, my love? We still have to get married. Oh, gosh. There he is. There he is. All right, I'm gonna get up here. I'm just gonna wait for him to walk into the right direction. And then I will plant the bomb. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Perfect. I'm gonna try and drop it right behind him. There it is. There it is. All right, here we go. Come on there. Yes. Yes. Did I get him? Oh, I did it. I did it. He's down. He's down. He's down. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I actually got him. But who the heck is Mandy? Ow, my head hurts. Well, that's what you get, okay, for trying to capture me and your ex-wife, okay? You're insane. Creep. 